And for those watching, it is, it is true. It's not, it's not a scam or anything. It's, I came with a lot of sensitivity. Now I'm, it's disappearing little by little. I'm here because I've been having issues with my jaws and my lower jaw. I have pain and uh, sensitivity to uh, my teeth. Okay. How long has that been going on? Uh, probably, I will say probably five years, but it has, been, it, was, it has been getting worse since September of last year, since they did a bridge. So you had a crown done on your upper left about five years ago, mm -hmm. and then you had a bridge done on your upper right last September. That's correct, and also some other type of feelings throughout my mouth. So. And didn't you tell me that after the crown was done on your upper left, you started experiencing cold sensitivity that you never really had before? That's correct. That was like five years ago, but it was on and off, and I tried many uh, toothpaste mm -hmm. and some other uh, prescription toothpaste that the dentist gave me, but it, it, they don't help. It helped for a little bit, and then it comes back. So who have you seen for this? I seen a regular dentist, uh, an oral surgeon too. Also, I went to. Um, they told me that probably my pain was due to a wisdom tooth, which they removed, and it didn't help me at all. Um, and they just told me that probably was like a phantom pain, and I needed to learn to live with it. So nobody ever bothered imaging your joints or looking at your bite precisely or anything like that? Right? Mm, no, not at all. In Maryland, um, I researched and I tried to see if anybody was doing what you're doing with all the technology, new technology you have, and nobody has it. Yeah, ice water. Oh. Zero, zero ten. Sorry about that. You're going to love me for this, right? It's a ten. It's really bad? Yeah, and throughout my whole mouth. Okay. And that's only been going on for about five years. Mm -hmm. five, five years. Okay. And it lingers, though. You it know, does the pain. Yes, yeah, stays. It lingers. Is it going yet? No, it takes probably like like a minute or a minute and a half to dis dissipate. Out to the right and open. Good job. Give me a zero to ten. We haven't done much. I'm mm -hmm. just curious. What's your number? Probably like a seven, but only here in the front. No. It's different. Yeah, it is different. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that look he just gave me? Yeah, you got that on film, right? <laughs> it is different. That's weird. I feel like my whole bite here is touching on my teeth. Before I, even though you told me yesterday that there were, but I couldn't feel it. But now it's more even. Yeah, more, more even. Home, right, and open. Perfect. Right, left. We got like a six, but it's only on the front teeth here. So the back are far better. Yeah, no, no, here I don't feel it. No, here I don't feel it anymore. Just here. So you could drink an ice cream or. Milkshake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, and I can eat, uh, you know, cold fruit that I like to eat. Again, mm -hmm. after five years. Yes, after five years. <laughs> That's true. Zero ten. Zero. Zero here and just a little bit here. Almost nothing now. Mm -hmm. Like no big deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no big deal. Great. Whoever did the. Uh, where did the crown because of the thickness? Mm -hmm. No, they had a lot of problem adjusting this crown, as a matter of fact. Because they never took enough tooth away to give it enough thickness for the metal. And it kept and hurting porcelain. and hurting every time mm -hmm. I used to shoe. Yeah. All these years just because of one crown. Well, and a couple of fillings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah you're right. Your bridge is almost nothing. Oh, really? That I really thought, wasn't. I thought this is the one that threw the, the rest of no, the stuff No, it didn't. Out. If anything, they'd put it a little bit under the bite. Okay. Just a little bit. It's okay, the bridge is fine. Mm -hmm. That wasn't your problem. Your problem is the, the crown here and then the fillings below it was the main problem. Okay. And I can see that it really works. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, I, look, I'm getting both goosebumps just to think. No, seriously, because it, it, I mean, to live with this every day is it, a pain. It's always on your mind. Yeah. And the people that live around you, I always complain to them, like my wife and... Uh, and they're sick of hearing it. They, that's right, and she told me that Go and get a third, fourth opinion, try to somebody to help you. But yeah. here I am. I mean, you're my last one. And thank you, dog. I have yeah. from the bottom of my heart. Thanks. No, no, of course. The bite is different. I mean. The face in general. What's a word? Describe the face. It's, it's, I don't have the tension that I was feeling because I was feeling a little bit of tension when I wake up. 
and sometimes I thought it was the pillow. I changed the pillow, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sleeping in a cheap pillow in a hotel. I mean, you know, different type of pillow, but uh, I, it's relaxed. It feels more relaxed on you know on the job. I mean, every time I chew and I put something cold here, it, it used to bother me a lot. I, I couldn't do it. Yeah, jolt. Yeah, and after the, it lingers for it used to linger for a while. The pain. Is it lingering right now? No, not at all. Zero. It used to, zero. No, it, it used was to an linger. hour ago when we started. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. And then when you're finished, I'm gonna put a little bit of ice and balls just to see because I, I you know, I know I, it used to linger and it was very painful. Do it now. going to be cold. You're going to feel it. Oh. It's meant to feel it. But. Zero dog. I couldn't do that. I used to put something cold like that. Yeah. I mean, not even like that. Fruit from the refrigerator. Yeah. And my whole thing used to hurt. Now it's zero. It doesn't hurt. That's awesome. At all. Zero. Awesome. Yeah. Great. How about Excellent. The other side? How about the other side? Anything to speak of? It's amazing. Not bad. Not bad. You feel it, but it's not hurting. No. That's okay. normal. That's what we No, want. before I used to, f what I mean, hurting, it used to hurt in my jaw. Yeah. Like, you know, the pain went mm -hmm. deep. Deep inside, and it used to stay there. Yeah. Not anymore. I get it. This is great. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. It's amazing. Well, we think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. I, yeah. I couldn't do that. Uh, no, I, I guess you. I believe you. We see this all the time. This is why we do what we do. That's why we're trying to change things a little bit. Um, it's all worth it, though, coming here. <laughs> hey, seriously, no, seriously. All right, tomorrow, hey, a lot of people in FDA is going to hear. Seriously, I'm going to tell them yeah. when I go back home. Well, what you just experienced was the cure for sensitive teeth, FDH. Speaking of FDA, mm -hmm. I, I named that. FDH, frictional dental hypersensitivity. All the Sensodyne and all the toothpaste. Mm -hmm. The old theory is from 1964, a guy named uh, Brandstrom, a researcher out of Sweden. They're talking about exposed dentin, like in the roots of your teeth, mm -hmm. inside the tooth, there's little tunnels. Mm -hmm. And supposedly there's fluid in there that moves back and forth, and that's why people have sensitive teeth. The yeah, but, is, but after a while, you use it, like Sensodyne and all this stuff, but after a while, it's like they lose their magic, and it, it doesn't help anymore. The reality is that's not the true reason. The reality is the true reason is measured bite, occlusion, force per unit no, time. Because That's, this is why it happens. And then over the years when it flexes too much and starts wearing into the teeth too much because your muscle and brain are pushing because it's not balanced, then you start seeing the orange spots like you saw in the tooth in mm -hmm. the picture. Mm -hmm. And even though you're exposed, you're still not feeling it. It's not hurting. Why? Because the hydrodynamic theory isn't correct. It's a theory. It's 55, 60 years old. They're wrong. No offense. Mm, sure. and then it's the, a $3 billion a year industry. And, and the fluoride wow. that they give you after, because I went to the to cleaning and I said, look, it's so sensitive. Yeah. I don't want to clean it. Yeah. It's like, oh, we'll give you fluoride yeah. and, and that will help you. But it nope. doesn't do it. Nope. And I told him, what's wrong with me? I mean, it's, What's oh. wrong with you is there was a timing discrepancy the way your teeth came together top to bottom. Nobody can measure it. Nobody believes it. And that's no. okay, because we do this every day for people. Mm, no, I went for this crown, yeah. like, Five times I hit the paper. Yeah. How does it feel? I, I feel okay, yeah. but it still it was hurting. Feel, that's subjective. You got to measure it. Measured matters. Yeah. Bingo, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. You bet. So it's been a day. How do you feel? No, I feel good. I, I was able to sleep good. I, I ate really good. And uh, the thing that I was impressed is that, and I guess that's what I little, not sore, but a little here because I was touching my teeth that they feel really level now, yeah. straight. And it's a good feeling that I, I was experiencing yesterday, you know. Yes. Yeah. It's a great feeling, but I, I feel good. So the DTR catches your bite up to the status of your joints. Mm -hmm. You're a little damaged, but not terrible so. So from here on, you naturally should take, like, keep it in line. Okay. In other words, brain senses through teeth where they are in time and space and pushes with muscle accordingly, tips it, intrudes it, lets it, lets it alone, whatever it needs to do. It'll dial it in on its own, mm -hmm. but we catch you up. So it should be relatively perpetual unless somebody gets a hold of you with dental work mm -hmm. and throws no, some, no, now, throws now some in. I will be very, very hesitant to really go to any other dentist. I, you know, we have, without having this equipment to test you and, and make sure that, you know, yeah. your bite is level. I,
Well, you know, I don't know. I, I will probably come back and see you. So. Well, the tolerance for someone that has a little bit of damage is less than the tolerance for someone who has perfect joints. Mm -hmm. So most people, not most people, probably at least half the people, though, have perfect joints. Mm -hmm. So their dentist can be a little sloppy. The dentist doesn't even know it, but they're using the bite paper. Yeah, that's... that's, that's yeah. And, through and my that, life, that has been the experience, just that right, that's paper. All, that's all they use. And then, you know, but when you start using the digital stuff, when you really want to get serious about it, mm -hmm. you know, that's in my experience, far more in line with someone that has a problematic problem. You know? and, and with my age, you saw that I have a lot of dental, you know, feelings and crowns and uh, bridges, so... You're no older than I am, <laughs> you're young. You're just <laughs> getting started. <laughs> but, but, it, but it was time, I guess, for, for something, this type of technology, to really level all my bites, so... So what kind of advice do you have for anybody? Well, the, this, this really worked. I thought that, uh, you know, people were actors or something, but now doing it myself, that I came all the way from Maryland, it really works. I mean, it was amazing. I mean, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's something that uh, from having 10 insensitivity to anything, uh, not having it at all is, is a good feeling. Um, yeah. I, I, this morning, as a matter of fact, uh, I didn't even use my uh, uh, mouthwash that it has, you know, helps you with sensitivity. I didn't want to use it to see if it really works. You don't so, need it. No, I don't. I, I didn't feel anything, so did I just you, brushed. Were you bad yesterday and have all kinds of milkshakes? Yes, I beer? did. As a matter of fact, cold <laughs> drink. Uh, actually, you know, I, I had my first margarita with a lot of lime yeah. because before I couldn't do that. Yeah. The lime uh, was giving me a lot of sensitivity, the acidic, I guess, on the lime. Yeah. So and I that went away? Yeah, I, did, I drank it really good yesterday. So yeah, but you <laughs> seriously, and I, it was the first time I ate oysters with a lemon too, because I, I haven't experienced that for a while. It's true. Huh. I can tell you that. It's true. Wow. Zero to ten. Zero. Nothing? No. What were you yesterday? Uh, when I started, it was like probably ten. That bad, huh? Mm -hmm. Kidney stones bad. <laughs> yes, and I have them too, so no, the other. Yeah, you have those too, yeah. so you know. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. So, no, it's, it's true. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir.